Hello everyone, Mark Stark here as I am every Tuesday, 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. And we are still, in fact, I'm on uh, uh, part four of our personal mastery series uh, supporting business and your overall life. And today, you know, we're going to talk about locking in consistent success. We talk a lot about, you know, what do we need to do to be successful? But now we're going to talk about what are the steps that you take so you don't do a lot of this. You know, there's nothing worse than had a great quarter. Oh, my God. Did all the business stop? Because I'm having a terrible quarter. And then I have a great quarter. Then I have a terrible quarter. And sometimes I can go for six months. We don't want that. We want consistency. You don't have to do this the whole time. But I'll tell you, in reality, you certainly want to have it to where you're going up it may dip a bit, but you're being fairly consistent. So that's what today's message is all about. All right. I have four areas that I want to talk about. All right. These are all tied to how you can keep consistent success ongoing regardless of any market environment. That's right. Do these and regardless of any market environment, you will win and you will be successful on a consistent basis. All right, let's jump in. Number one, have a daily routine. If you don't have a strict daily routine, you simply open yourself up to non-consistency because clearly you're not laying the consistent groundwork. Why should the groundwork be consistent? Makes total sense. Now, remember, in any routine, when we're focusing on business, it should include a DRC, daily revenue commitment. So be it you have your exercise, whatever, your healthy food, uh, whatever consistencies you have, that's awesome. And I love it. Your daily routine should support you, but it should include a daily revenue commitment along this business line. That's what creates that consistency because you're actually being consistent regardless of the market environment. So it brings more consistency to your business. Number two, you need a written and often spoken daily affirmation. Okay, a written and often spoken daily affirmation. And I thought the best way to get this across to you uh, about how one would sound is, I'm going to read you mine, all right? All right, this is my daily affirmation. I've unleashed and asserting the mastery of my real self. I am in perfect uh, uh, vibration with the abundance of the universe. The universe provides me abundance of health, wealth, joy, and spiritual connection. I have an unlimited supply of blessings to provide others. I am a joyful, good man. Okay, that's for me. And I read that and think about it all the time. In fact, it's really in my face all the time because I have it in my main book. I have it at the house. I read it on a consistent basis. So this continues sending those messages to me. And if you listen, they're all in present tense. I'm not waiting for it. I'm not hoping for it. It's all here. Here's who I am right at this moment. You need to build your affirmation, your daily affirmation, and say it well and say it often. All right. So now you've got your routine and you've got your daily affirmation. Now, one more thing on daily affirmation. Um, what you're really doing here is you're admitting to yourself that my subconscious is more powerful than my conscious mind. That's it. You're saying, you know what? My subconscious thought process is more powerful than my conscious thought process. So ultimately, what you're using is your affirmation to support your subconscious mind to say, look, go ahead. I'm going to take you out for a spin. You do what you do. And I'm going to keep feeding you the proper messaging on a consistent basis. Because the more you feed your subconscious that proper and awesome messaging that you built, that is all about you personally, 
about what you want, what you're all about, then the reality of it is, is it's a win. All right. And I should, let me correct myself. It's not what you want. It's who you are and what you have and what you see now. That is key. It needs to be in present, present tense. All right. Number three, ensure your daily priorities align with your overall goals. This is a mistake that I see on a consistent basis where your actual priorities that you do don't even align with what you say you want. Now, maybe your goals aren't real to you. Maybe you really don't care about those and they were just talk. What I'm telling you is number three is key. You must align your priorities, right, with your overall goals. And remember the rule on priorities. If you do it, you made it a priority. Doesn't matter what it is. If you do it, it's a priority. As small as it might be, all right? So uh, the, the example I've given on other uh, messages is, you know, you walk your dog at three in the morning. No matter what the weather is, no matter it, you don't miss, you walk your dog at three in the morning. I'll tell you this much. I don't know if you enjoy it. I don't know if you like it, but I know one thing. It's a priority. Why? Because you do it. So simple rule of thumb. If you do it, you made it a priority. If you don't like some of your priorities, then you need to adjust them. But if you do it, they are ultimately a priority and they need to align with your goals. And last but not least, number four is, which is a tough one for a lot of people, and that is you have to take 100% responsibility for your life. As, as I've said many times before, blame is worthless. Worthless. Okay. Every time you say, well, this happened because, because of another person, because of another issue, because of something out of your control, because of the market, it's all bunk. It's meaningless. See, because what you have to, to take 100% responsibility, not blame, 100% responsibility, you have to say, I'm the one that has to adjust. I'm the one that has to change. All right. We, and I hear this right now, and I know you're hearing it too, is, you know, Where's the market going? Where's the economy going? What's going to adjust? Regardless of what environment we're in, you have to be the one to adjust. Otherwise, you fall into that trap of blame and you stay exactly or move backwards from where you're at today. Taking 100% responsibility says, don't worry. Whatever happens around me doesn't matter. I will zig and I will zag to make sure I stay true to what I am trying to accomplish for my life and certainly for my business. Look, being successful for a short period of time feels good. Being successful for a long, long period of time, regardless of the environment you're in, feels unbelievably awesome for a very, very long time. And if you look at the successful sales executives, who really get these points, year in, year out, challenging market, awesome market, low interest rates, high interest rates, it doesn't matter. They always find a way to be successful in any environment. And that's because the four things that I've gone over here, daily routine, affirmations, priorities, and responsibility, they believe in that 1,000%. All right. Hopefully this was valuable today. Uh, hopefully you like the information. Please share all this information. And if you aren't already, please follow. Have a great week, everybody. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.